this is your Toppins gate opener. I just want to share with you guys so you guys will know if you need to do this yourselves. It comes with all the hardware. It comes with both electronic arms. There's your, it's got little pins. You can pop these off and move it if you need to. Uh, you just got to get your placement right for your arm when you're hooking this up. This is the key part of it, the very beginning. The craziness, it's all right here. So lining these up so that they'll go from here to here, it's that simple. I ran my wire across the driveway because I don't have a culvert. If I had a culvert underneath, I could have just ran the wire through, but I didn't do that. Uh, you're in and you're out. Uh, don't pay attention to this. I went with the shorter one when I installed it. Didn't need it. it says use for push open only. This is a pull only. So this is supposed to be for pulling. And I went ahead and used it for uh, pushing or pulling instead of pushing. And I'll show you on the other gate because I've got two. Uh, it requires a lot of juice. That's the other thing. So you come over here. Uh, over here you've got, this is your, uh, this one here is your 12 volt. And that is a 100 working hours. That's the one for this one. Same for this one here. That's another 12 volt. Now you run the two together. I've got my wires running them all together. You cross over your batteries and you get your two batteries working as one battery. When you do that, that's 24. So it become, goes from 12 volts to 24 volts. So that's how that works. And then uh, right up here, you get your solar panels hooked up. Then you get into your toppings supply stuff here. This is your power box. This is so if you want to, you have a regular plug-in, you can plug this into your house. If you want to just run it off a regular plug-in, you can. You can run it off of your regular plug-in, or you can run it off your batteries and your plug-in. It has several different ways of running this thing. Um, right in here, you got your AC in, and then you've got your solar in. So you run your solar power in here, and then you also, you run your batteries. That's your batteries right there, the, right here. And then over here is your uh, your loadout. That loadout goes over here. And then this, uh, it has little blinky lights inside of it and everything. Uh, you got to take this off because you've got to run your wires for your, this is your uh, first arm, second arm. If you're going to add a push button, it has slots for your push buttons. It also has a slot you can connect and plug in your flashy light so like you want lights and sirens like it lets everybody know that the gates opening or closing for safety uh, the other one was uh, your gate lock uh, so when the gate shuts it little lock and uh, they have a section for that too so it's all in there you have uh, adjustments inside here uh, for uh, gate speed gate timing uh, if you want the gate to swing faster uh, if you want the gate to be stronger and just knock someone to the ground when it hits them, uh, or whatever, <laughs> it's got all that in it. Uh, uh, the keys, your, uh, your remotes, they're already pre-programmed. All you gotta do is hit the button. Let's go ahead and hit that and show you. You'll hear it beep. A little creaky sound. And then the other one down there is opening as well. If you see all the way on the end. Yeah. The other one way down there, it's opening as well. And it'll come to a slow and stop. It's pretty gangster. Anyway, now we'll go to the other side and we'll check it out. I had to run one wire from one end of the property to the other to come over here and see the gates open. Nice and swung, you press the gate from over here, and you'll see this one will close. Now, to get one to push and one to pull, you have to cross the wiring. So, the wiring diagram that it comes with isn't what you're going to use. So, if you want one to push, which this is a push gate, 
and you want one to be a pull gate you have to wire this one differently and i'll share that in the drop down for you guys so you guys can get your info on that but definitely anytime you're making survivalist videos and you're talking about zombies you've got to wear your spanguli shirt <laughs> for those of you that are big fans of spanguli all right uh, so uh, as far as like the gate thing goes I, I just want to be able to tell you how hard or the difficulty levels of that for installing it and, and things you need to know uh, hooking the all right I guess gathering the supplies was the the biggest part was um, you know unboxing going through everything it's all there the hardware the bolts that you're going to use for your t-post it gives diagrams for using a t-post it gives diagram for using concrete walls and whatever else so it oh. does square beam and round beam it doesn't matter what it is it gives you all the instructions for that now just try to try not to overthink it because uh now with mounting mounting the arms and getting them timed correctly it isn't difficult you have to uh, uh the, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to unlock it it'll have this key that it comes with let me show you the key it'll have this key that it comes with and you're going to go underneath and you're going to unlock the servo and you're going to pull it all the way up uh make sure you get it all the way out there and then start sizing it up where it's going to go Give yourself enough room in case you have to make a couple of centimeter adjustments or whatever. Just give yourself enough room. And I guarantee you, once you're done doing all that, uh, when you go to operate the gate, it might be off. So now, what I did was I disconnected the arm from the fence. And then I hit the activation button. Those those little remote controls are already, they're already programmed. You don't have to mess with that stuff. It, the thing that the reason why I'm telling you is because when I was reading the instructions, it actually yes, a marine read instructions. <laughs> Looking through the instructions and it says there, hey, your uh, your this is how you program your key fobs, your little fobs, you know, press the button, and this is how you program them to operate a because you can operate several different things with one remote. You can operate the uh, uh, sliding fences and things like that because they make sliding fences as well uh, this is supposed to be a dual gate so this would be like one of those types of gates that connect together and then it opens like this that's all I, I got I got that I said you know what I bet I bet I can figure out how to run one all the way across the property to open another gate over there now it opens every time but that's perfectly fine those gates aren't very heavy uh, they're only 10 foot gates so uh, if you're doing something like that you know I'll leave the wiring diagram for those of you that need it so that you can wire one for push and one for pull uh, you're gonna need to know which wires they are and it's kind of simple as saying the positive is negative and the negative is positive and then your other two wires over here get crossed but and there's more to it than that I just I'll leave it in the drop down for those of you that if you get one and you're messing with the gate and you're like how do I do this backwards that's how you do it backwards uh, you can uh, pick up extra wire extra wiring so you can run run the gate wire further away the arm wire further away so that you can operate uh, two gates if you want to do that uh, all that stuff was really easy to hook up uh, the battery system was easy to hook up programming changing or any of that stuff was super easy I highly encourage you guys if you're gonna if you want a gate for security I highly recommend especially if you got little kids uh, for us we have a lot of kids uh, we've got three and another one on the way so that's gonna be four and uh, having that many kids running around everywhere I like the gate shut I don't I like the property fenced off. I like the gate shut. I like the signs that say I will shoot and kill you if you enter this property. I like the signs for that sort of thing. And I, I like keeping mine on mine because everybody, <laughs> you keep yours on yours. Most redneck thing I ever heard said. And you know, I had been a Tennessean 
all my life and been in the Marines for years come home and I have someone tell me keep yours on yours he didn't like my dog so he had to tell me he, he wasn't a dog person he's just like so ridiculous lovable dog and hated dogs and uh, <laughs> wow so that's where I am and that's the main reason for the fencing because uh, uh, in the beginning it started off with I better fence this in keep the dogs in and then it went from that we have big property it's kind of hard to fence in the whole thing um, but it started off with uh, you got dogs fence it in now you got animals now you have multiple fences so we have fences all over the place that fence over there's mine that fence over there's mine it just keeps going and going and going now uh, but the gate access thing is very important for anyone anyone because of the fact that if you you live somewhere people can't just drive into your driveway you're gonna start getting junkies and all kinds of stuff we had one guy he was meth messed out of his mind pull into our driveway walked all the way up to the door was like banging on the door and everything he, o he opened up two gates manually and came all the way up here and that's why I, I, things like that just really make you want to just make that decision you know with all the squatters uh, there's I mean you got illegals camping on uh, private property and things like that happening there's a lot of stuff happening out there that is security is going to be key you're going to need I mean, we've got cameras we've done the whole nine I mean everything you can think of this this sub prepper survivalist family has thought of it we have done just about everything you can think of to keep this family safe now uh, that's the only real I, I like to share this stuff because I want people to know uh, how to do it it's not hard and uh, these gate systems are fairly cheap uh, you're looking at like 600 bucks to get yourself a good gate system like this one and to get it set up and everything it's not that big of a deal uh, but it, it you go in shut the gate you push the button you don't have to run back and forth push the button close it all up and you need to go out different directions put up multiple ones uh, it just makes life a little bit easier it keeps keep helps you know if did I shut the gate I don't know push the, you know take a look out there no I didn't shut it well I guess everybody pushed the button push the button it's shut I didn't have to send any of my kids to go do it <laughs> that's what they're for yes <laughs> this is my 11 year old garage door opener right here uh, <laughs> This thing's finally ready to do its job. Oh man, I can't just keep doing that with the kids. Plus, the way the world's getting and things are just getting too dangerous. So I just like to have it like that, keep it simple. That's all I got. Uh, links for all this stuff will be in the drop down below. And uh, I hope you guys uh, uh, enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And uh, at, like I said, it's not hard those of you that feel intimidated by it when you ride by it's like oh man I bet that's difficult to set up it's very very easy to it's simply plug and play it's it's that easy you just make some minor adjustments and you're good to go and your stuff's running so just keep that in mind all right uh, God bless take care stay safe